Welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In the last episode, I infiltrated the Pirate's Fortress and managed to rescue four of the Zora eggs they had captured. Now I need to find the other three. The three remaining Zora eggs are located in a place called Pinnacle Rock. And to get there, I need some help. I need a little seahorsey guide. And I know just where to find them. I also found a hookshot in the last episode, and I took a picture of one of the female pirates. Sneaky, sneaky. And uh, the guy that lives over here wants a picture, so I'm going to do him a favor and fulfill his uh, horribly perverted dreams. Let's see, I don't know why I took that off, it didn't matter. I've been catching fish in these seas for 30 years. When it comes to catching fish, I'm even better than the Zoras. That's what I like to be saying anyway. Lately, the seawater has gotten really warm. It hasn't helped my fishing at all. And with when what's worse, this water has gotten murky, so when I ship out, I always lose my way and somehow end up back at shore. We fishermen and even the fish are in a real predicament. Yep, I feel sorry for you. Let's check out your little seahorse. Help me, please take me to the water, stay be like a rock. Are you interested in that fish? It's a rare fish, isn't it? It's called a seahorse. I caught it swimming right here just off Pinnacle Rock. Since it's rare, I was thinking of selling at the town carnival, which should be starting soon. If you want, I'll give it to you. On one condition. Do you have a pictograph of the female pirates? Actually, I do, you big pervert. Here you go, here's your hentai. Oh, it's in the in a picture like that. Oh, well, aren't you a crafty one? You'll give that to me, won't you? In exchange, I'll give you this. Yeah. He is so going to look at that late at night and whack off. How, how horrible. Let's take this seahorsey back to Pinnacle Rock so it can act as a guide through the murky waters. Now Pinnacle Rock is, yeah, over there. These, those two, oh gosh. Those two spite looking rocks show the entrance. The twin rock towers, I guess. Come on. Is that swim? And do this thing I love to do. Oh, I love doing this. Whee! Woohoohoo! Yay! I am such a kid. You have no idea. Ooh! That doesn't get really high. I love the swimming in this game. How did you in that? It's pretty awesome. Okay. I'm in Pinnacle Rock. Yeah, Fraggle Rock. Actually, it's nothing like Fraggle Rock. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Oh gosh, this land. I want to release my fairy. Not fairy, seahorse here. She takes layer ahead in a murky area. Okay. Oh, let's release him. Just in case I need it, I brought some green potion along. You never know. I have to use magic when using my underwater aura as Zora Link. You have strange powers, Prank. You'll have a request for you. Please follow me. Alright. Guide me through the murky water, or else I'll get turned around and start all over again. It's just like the Poe guide in the Desert of Colossus, or whatever, in Ocarina of Time. Where you had to have a Poe guide you, or else you had to start all over again. You get lost in the sand. Here you get lost in murky water. Now, it's entirely possible to get through this place without using the seahorse, using severe trial and error. The first time I ever played this game, that's what I did, because I did not know to get the seahorse. I didn't know this is what you had to do. So it was a pain in the ask. But I finally got through here. And then come to find out, oh, I am supposed to use this thing. Well, that makes sense. Wish I'd known that before. Here in the depths of Pinocchio Rock, there are many dangerous sea snakes. My friend is trapped here. Pringle, can you please find a way to rid the area of all the sea snakes? No, my friend. Sure, I can do that. So obviously I missed out on that piece of heart. Because I couldn't find the seahorse. I never got the seahorse to return to his friend, so whatever. Yeah, you get a piece of heart for doing this as well. So that's, that's not a nice bonus. It's a better incentive to do this, even though it's just kind of part of the main quest anyway. So you just want to avoid their mouth and then kind of shock their bodies. And that's how you defeat the sea snakes. Which don't really look anything like snakes to me. And that's one. Yep, one down, two to go. Let's see, but I, I do have to fight all these sea snakes that are in here. 
so I'm not off the hook. And there he is. They look a bit more like eels than snakes, I guess. I don't know what they look like. Like some kind of deep sea creature, I'm sure I've seen. That's another. Okay, uh, I guess that's the top one off. There's two slightly below here. So I'll go for these. He's lunging hard. He's like, oh, that kind of hurt. I killed it with my aura. Let's see, is there, is there any magic in here? Yeah. I could drink the bottle I have. I swallow magic. Whatever. I think you can. Wait, can you drink bottles underwater? I don't even know. Huh. Might be something to find out. I've never tried it. Good. Oh, you'd think the potion would get lost in the water. But maybe it can as Oral Link. I don't know. I've never tried it. Now I'm really curious. Now I must find out. I'm going to equip my magic. Can you drink underwater? Holy crap, you can. But I'll save it for later. That's pretty awesome and doesn't make any sense whatsoever. But I guess if you put your mouth directly over it, you know, the liquid escapes. Oh, that's what she said. That's what she said. Horrible. Marble joke today. And that's the day I became dirty. Alright. Two down here. Oh god, there's his mouth. Ow! He got me. <laughs> he snagged me up. I entered at kind of an angle, so that was my fault. You gotta go straight on and make a slight lift. But I need to come at an angle. Good, you're dead. And there's a 20 ruby prize there. I don't care to get. Yeah. <sighs> Defeating these sea snakes does take a while. So, come on, let's get this over with. There's how many are there? I didn't. I, I never counted. It's like what eight, ten, something like that. I don't know. I got a heart. I'm healed. I should have plenty of magic left, so I guess I won't need that magic bottle after all. I should be good on magic. So, if I'm counting right, there should be only two left. There's one. That was, that was so scary. Ah, there it is. I could just leave. But I guess I better not. I do want that piece of heart, so I am going to kill this other sea snake. So I can reunite the gay seahorses. You'll see what I mean when I say gay. Oh gosh. And that's the end of the sea snakes. Better go talk to him, so I can get my prize. I didn't say do that, I said talk. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Pringle. This is a symbol of my deepest gratitude. I'm supposed to save his friend, but it looks like they're more than friends. You know, friends with benefits. And I don't even know if they're male and female, so... That's, uh, that's nice. Good job, Nintendo. I guess Nintendo is tolerant. <laughs> Horrible. Oh gosh. I'm gonna get so much trouble for this. Uh, I'm gonna swim out of here and deliver the final eggs to the tank in that one place that I call Burp. I mean, Captain Hook's home. I just had a random burp come up. I'm not even drinking soda, I'm drinking water. I always drink water when I'm making Let's Plays. My mouth dries out really fast from talking so much in the commentary. Yeah, you might as well get lost. You just wind up here anyway. Uh, which way back? I guess it's this way. No, that's the wrong way. Okay, I have no idea what just happened, but now I'm here. Let's go back to Captain Hook's house. It looks like a hook to me. I can see the moon! Moon! The moon faces south, so obviously I'm out west. 
you go up north, you're looking direct at the moon's butt. So the moon is mooning you. Didn't think that was possible, did you? Well, it is. The moon so moons you. Uh, this episode shouldn't go too long. Last episode kind of went a little bit long. This one should be a good, uh, just over 10 minute episode, so that's nice. Maybe a little more than that since I gotta do, I have to have an event occur here. Pour it in. Pour it straight in. Ew. Another turd. Okay, uh... Last two. And all seven are rescued. If you don't know what you're doing, this whole thing can take a long time to do, and it'll probably take you several tries. And you're very likely to run out of time trying to figure it all out. That's what happened to me. It's okay, I got this game pretty well memorized now. Been playing this game for what, almost 13 years now? Because this was released in the year 2000. Good, all the eggs have been brought together. It's going to start quick from the front of the aquarium. Okay. Let's have a look see. Congratulations, there, sperm. I guess the more tadpole looking sort of. So, this is what Zora babies look like? Okay. Look at this! What does this mean? What in the world can this mean? I got it! Don't you understand the way these are children are lined up? It means... It means they already know how to play music. Good. Child prodigies. Great. Make me feel dumb. What about my fishbone guitar? There. Although I do like this tune. You are the new wave bossa nova! It's the melody top of the Zora children that invigorate singing voices. That yes, that instrument. Hmm, if these Zoras are born to teach the song, then hurry! You must play the song for the Zora to lay these eggs. Actually, she can wait. There's still plenty of other side quests I can do. I'm not going over there just yet, but I did want to learn that song. So, I guess to next time for more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask as I play the Ocean Spider House. It'll still be a little while before I ever even enter the temple. So uh, I'll see you then, folks. Later.